Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching this video in which I will clarify about collectors downstreaming. So I already have out there a few videos uh, in the Java Fundamental stream about uh, using collectors where I present all the important uh, methods uh, you need to know from the collectors for real world scenarios and the OCP exam. But I understood that are still things to uh, that, that need to be clarified and uh, to do that in this video I will only take take uh, the very simple example, the very simplest example, and I will try to prove the way downstreaming works without focusing a lot on all the possible scenarios that you can do with downstreaming. And uh, I hope this video is will be a good start with collectors. Uh, and of course, then you will still need to learn all about the uh, compositions of collectors and downstreaming, but you can do that by uh, viewing or reviewing uh, the lessons where I discussed that in the Java Fundamental stream that uh, has uh, at this moment already over 50 lessons, so you have a lot of Java material there to study. Uh, so uh, to start with, I have created already a project and it's an empty project. You can see I use the latest Java version, which is Java 4 at the moment and that's less important uh, but I just want to tell you that I didn't uh, write anything yet in this project I have just created the project and inside it I will create a main class and I will try to focus uh, only by using again the very very simplest example with downstreaming so that you understand what downstreaming is because what I understood from your question is that you didn't actually understand the downstreaming as a concept not necessarily the exercises themselves so you need to uh, understand better how downstreaming works and then you can take all the other examples and learn the function composition there with collectors. Uh, so that being said, let's create a main package and inside the main package I create a main class and inside the main class of course we uh, just uh, need to use somehow some collectors. So I will uh, create a list, um, say a list of strings and for the moment I just want to apply a collector without downstreaming. So let's let's do that. Let's create a list of strings and let's choose some collector to work with. And I think the simplest maybe to, to work with in, in, at the beginning is to do some grouping by, grouping by something, say grouping by the length of the string. It's something very, very easy. So I create my list of strings here it's a very simple list i will use it as a source of my um, of my streams so to understand this of course you need to first understand the basic of stream api in java but i i have to um, uh, yeah uh, start from uh, considering that you know that and if you don't, uh, no worries, there is uh, also uh, at least a lesson out there in uh, the Java Fundamental stream uh, with um, uh, streams, uh, Java Fundamental stream, yeah, with, uh, with stream API. Uh, so you can review those lessons that are related and you will sh for sure understand um, how to work with streams. So say here we have a list of strings of different lengths, of course. They have to be of different lengths. I don't even care what strings they are. I can use only letter A and I will use different lengths. I, I have to repeat a few of the lengths so that is clear that, that some of them do repeat somehow. So see this, this list that I've created here has some strings and I have three here the length. This is a length one length 5 because we have 5 capital A's uh, 3, 1 and 4 so if I, I put them in a comment here I can say that if I would group them by the length then I would have something like this I would have A, A, A and again A, A, A that would be uh, the, the uh, strings that have uh, the, the, length, the length 3 and then I have A that's twice, you see it's A twice, one, two, and then I have one, four, and one, five, so it will be again, that, that would be one list of them, and it will be a, a list of those that have the length one, and then I have one having five, and then I have a list of another one having four A's. So what I've done here is grouping my strings 
based on their length. So the length is 3 for this, 1 for this, 5 for this, and 4 for uh, the last one. And to do that, we can use collectors. And we don't need any downstreaming. We, we only use one collector, so we apply a function in the end. So to get out the stream of a list, you use the stream method. And then to use a collector, you have to call the terminal operation named collect. And then to get a collector, you can do that. Uh, you, can, you can take one of the predefined collectors uh, that the Java, the JDK offers using the collectors class and one of its static methods. And if I want to group by something, then I use the grouping by collector. And the simplest way to call the grouping by collector is without doing a downstreaming. We just need to provide as a parameter the condition on which we do the grouping. So in our case, we want to group by length of the string. So we know we get a string and we want to tell uh, uh, our um, uh, collector here that we need to do the grouping uh, using the length of that element. So the element, the type of the element is a string and then we need to do the grouping uh, using its length. So this is basically how we use a collector to simply group something and if you do that then the result in our case of applying the collector is just map of what you group by which becomes the key of the map so in our case it's an integer because it's the length of a string which is an integer and then of course you can see on the right side that we get a list of all the strings so by default the grouping by collector provides us back a list as a list all the strings that we um, that, that we have grouped uh, on that specific value so in our case all the strings, a list of all the strings that have the length 3, a list of all the strings that, ha that have the length uh, uh, 1, a list of all the strings that have the length 5, 4, and depending on the content of your stream, of course, this will be different in your case. So in our situation here, this is a list of strings. I think it's clear that the result, the, the value, so what will be appended to each of the keys representing the value we grouped uh, the um, the elements by will be a list of that the type of that element which is in, in our case strings so it will be a list of strings so this is the result here what that we get it's a map of integer and list of strings okay and if we print this out of course if we print the the map we'll see something very similar to precisely what I've shown here in the comment which will be uh, 3 and uh, then the um, uh, list of uh, strings having 3, 1 and not necessarily this order because we get a map here so the map doesn't guarantee an order of the keys uh, and uh, the, the per key, key pair values but we know for sure that the key pairs will be this way so not necessarily in this order but will be 3 and then the list of all the strings having 3, 1 and then the list of all the strings having length 1 and so on and so forth so you see here 1 and the list of uh, strings having length 1, 3 and the list of strings having length 3, 4 having the length 4 and 5 uh, in the end. So we, we got the, uh, the, the strings grouped by their lengths which is precisely what we wanted in the beginning. So this is applying a function and mathematically speaking we did here, a, we, we applied a function here uh, to group the values based on a criteria. So that's what we wanted to do. Uh, now, what happens is that when working with functional programming, because what, what we do now is we basically apply some functional programming concepts um, using uh, the, the Streams API in Java, and in our case precisely the collectors, is that you can do function composition. So I, I didn't tell you that when working on the um, our Java fundamental stream because I, I avoided using some mathematical concepts but if you want to be more clear more specific on what we do here is basically we apply some functions over some values and the function like in mathematics you get an x which is an input and you get an y that's the result the output of the function and what you can do with functions is you can compose the functions which means you take the result of a function and you apply another function over it and that's downstreaming 
So when if if you want to me to uh, tell you somehow else how downstreaming works because I have already tried to do uh, uh, in a specific way I have already tried to to uh, explain downstreaming uh, in um, the Java fundamental stream. Uh, but if you want me to go in another direction, I can compare this and go it go go to it more mathematically and say that this grouping by is actually a function. And you can, uh, yeah, you can just say it's a function f of x that has a result y. And you can do a composition with another function g. So you can say f of x composed with, uh, let's, let me use this symbol, g of x. And yeah, in this case, you will have something like f of g of x, which turns out to be applying another function over the um, um, over the, the result of the first one. So the result of, of G would be then F, F would be applied. So F, F is in my case the downstream. So the function that you apply above the result of G, G would be the down the, the first one which is grouping by and then say as I will do uh, next I take another function and I apply it over the result of G which is f, f is basically what we call the downstream and then you got some result. So that, that's basically it if you want to think about it in, more math, in, a, in a more mathematical way. Well, uh, I, I do like math, but, uh, but I, I try to avoid it because in some cases it, it might complicate um, uh, rather more than um, uh, clarify um, how things work. But in general, a downstream is basically applying another function on the result of a previous one, which is, uh, we, we can call this function composition. So this is my first one, say in this case is G, I think I should have started with G, which is in my case the grouping, grouping by. And then I do apply something else, which will be applied on the result of, of the grouping, which is in our case, the list of strings, you have it here. So we still have the grouped, the grouped uh, values, but the values resulted uh, that, are, that are grouped and that, that are provided within the list per each key of the map, you can basically apply another function to them. So you can take any function here you can just do a mapping or you can do a joining and it really depends on what you actually want to do how do you want to process your result here further so there are some strings let's say we want to do some joining let's say we want to instead of of receiving a list of individual strings we want to join them further so concatenate them and we want to concatenate them with uh, something in between so like a minus or like a symbol, whatever you wish. And in this case, instead of having this result, if we apply uh, the downstream of a joining, then the result will be that instead of having this value, which is a list of strings, you will actually have only one string that represents the joining, the concatenation of all the values and if you choose to have also a separator like minus, for example, then this is basically what you will get in this case. So instead of a list, you get the joining. And here is basically you, you don't join anything here because you only have one element. But in case of the first two, you will have a string composed by uh, all, the, all the other strings joined together. So that's in case in which in the case in which we apply a downstream that's joining and how you do that you basically you have to just provide the second parameter here and then the second parameter that you provide is the, the next function you want to apply so in my case is function f so you I, I want to apply joining over those I'd like to apply joining that's collectors joining and then if I also want to have, say, a separator, you know that I can uh, use a separator uh, by uh, providing uh, it uh, as a string here. The parameter of joining is named delimiter. And of course, in this case, the result type changes from list of strings, how previously it was when I didn't apply a downstream, to the new result, which is the result the type of the result after applying the second function, of course. So now, as I've said here, 
g in this case is uh, uh, my grouping by. I have grouped by and then I took the result of grouping by and above the result of grouping by I have applied another function which is the joining and then I get the result of the joining which in this case will be the string. So I still have a map of integer and something because I keep the grouping but then uh, to uh, what was uh, grouped by the first function you apply a new function and you change the next in our case the list of strings to something else. In our case we've changed it to, um, uh, to, uh, uh, to a string that's the result of joining all, the, all those strings into only one. And the same you could apply any other collector. So you can apply just any other collector to do a downstreaming that means to apply a new function mathematically a new function over the result of the first one. So if I run this one now Instead, again, instead of seeing like in the first place the elements grouped but in a list, I will see that the second function applied on the result and it simply changed to only one string for each of the results here. So that's why you see only one string and precisely as we, um, if, as we um, thought it will be, uh, we have um, a delimiter in between because that's what we asked for. So you can again think about downstreaming as simply as applying a new function to the result of a previously applied one. In your case any of the collectors is a function and then you can compose the functions and that is you apply the first function and then the downstream is apply the second function over the result of the first one and then in some cases you can go even uh, one more and uh, apply another function so compose with another function which means you apply again another function over the result of um, uh, of what the first of, of the first two uh, um, functions so this is downstreaming this is it is basically applying a new collector over the result of a previous one like in my case i apply joining over the result of the grouping by and hopefully this answers your question better than i, I managed to do in my java fundamentals uh, stream let me know if you still have questions of course i've tried only to take one example because i didn't want here to um, you to focus on grouping by and joining themselves i wanted you to, to focus on what um, uh, downstreaming is uh, but i do advise you to go back to the java fundamental stream and review and learn all the possible collectors uh, they are very useful in real world scenarios as well as uh, in your OCP 11 exam if you plan to attend that OCP 11 exam and uh, obtain the certification. Thank you very much and have a great time for study.